Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be pulling off the carbon fiber vinyl wrap that I have on the hood of my STI. Uh, it's been about two years since I installed this vinyl wrap. This is a Vivid's True R carbon fiber in black. Um, on the hood, the scoop I already took out the screws to be able to take that off separately. As you can see, I went in a little bit so I want to make sure I'm able to get all the uh, Vinyl wrap from underneath where the hood over, uh, overlaps when it's mounted on there. So I applied this in I believe March or April of 2018. So again, it's been about two years since it was installed. Pretty good condition still, or very good condition still. Um, but I also took care of the car and all the surfaces fairly well, cleaning it fairly often. Uh, and this car honestly does not get driven very much. So it does look in very good condition um, overall. Uh, it has lasted quite well and is um, very resilient. Uh, but it's been about two years, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it off. Uh, in order to pull this off, basically you're going to have to use a little bit of elbow grease uh, and heat to assist. Right now it's only about 50 odd degrees in my garage. And uh, vinyl wrap when it's cold is pretty brittle. So if I try to pull it while it's cold, it'll be very hard to come uh, to pull off and it will basically chip off into chunks uh, breaking off into little chunks instead of just pulling off into, as a big big sheet so add a lot of heat have a heat gun a torch IR heater whatever hair dryer whatever you got available all right with that I'm going to get uh, mounted on tripod here and get going all right so here I got a heat gun get it started and what I want to do is heat up an area have it on high right now Try to find a place uh, on the vinyl that you can um, pick at uh, to get it to get it started. Essentially, let's see. I'm gonna put this off somewhere else first. Uh, so inside the hood here, there are edges that I can pick at to try to get started. But uh, it's gonna warm up the area. Soften. Get it started. There we go. There we go. Alright, so I'm just kind of heating in front of the area that I'm going to be pulling. That way it stays soft. You can see the vinyl as, it's, as I'm pulling where it's warm is stretching. And that's good. You want it to stretch. Oh, I should have pulled off the, uh, the washer nose, nozzles. This is wrapped up the edge, so we're going to get that off the edge there. there we go. Nozzles. There we go. Looks like I got it actually. I'll put that down a little bit just to pull it up to me there. So you can see how the vinyl is moving and shrinking again as it gets warmed up. So I'm just kind of heating the area where I'm going to go and try to peel. Pulling it off. Smoothly and firmly. There we go. So we're this area to get off a little bit. Find an edge to grab. There we go. Yeah. And that broke like that because that was still kind of cold. So, so far, 
there's no glue residue. And I'm feeling on the edges, even on the edges, I'm not feeling any glue, glue residue. If I do, it's like very, very minor. It just wiped off like that in my hand. Uh, a couple things to consider when I put this vinyl on this on the car. The paint and clear coat were in very good condition. Uh, so I don't expect that the vinyl will pull any paint or clear coat off with it. If your clear coat is weak or your paint in general is not in good condition, um, you could probably expect that the vinyl will probably pull some of that off with it. Uh, doesn't mean the installer damaged your car. Absolutely not because you bought the car in the condition with the paint in the condition that it is. I agree to have something that could pull uh, paint off because it's already been it's already in a bad and weakened state. You, know, you could be working on your car, put a piece of duct tape on there for whatever reason, and then when you pull it off, it would have pulled off your paint anyway. Same concept. Did you do anything wrong in particular? No, it's just that your paint and clear coat was not in a, in its best condition. So again, just heating up this heating up this area, I'm kind of getting into a broad area so I can feel more off at one time. Releasing very nicely, very smoothly. As long as the vinyl itself is warm. And actually, let me see if I can demonstrate what I mean by demonstrate what I mean by uh, vinyl breaking and chipping off easily when it's cold. So this area here is kind of cool. You can already hear, hear it kind of. We're trying to pull off on this area here. And there's like glue residue that's leaving right there. And it's definitely, it's pulling off still fairly easily, fairly nicely. Definitely not as easy. And see how it's tearing already? Instead of pulling off this way, it's kind of just going its own direction there. Definitely not pulling off as nicely uh, as the warm area that's been warmed up. So I'm going to continue on. To get rid of the glue residue, basically just most times you can just rub it off with your finger, it'll form like a little ball, it'll ball up on itself and then just brush it away. But what if that doesn't work, a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a microfiber cloth works very well. Worst comes to worst, you can use something like Goof Off or Goof On, that'll help get rid of that residue, make sure you clean it up right away afterwards, uh, or acetone. Again, you'll have to make a judgment on the condition of your paint. What's on your paint, acetone can be very damaging depending on what you got on there. Uh, so if you do use acetone, be careful with that. Same thing with any other thing uh, to help you out. Okay, all I'm doing right now, again, is heating up an area ahead of where I'm going to be pulling. Help soften it up, warm it up in preparation for removal. Speed up this area here. Have my heat gun on high. But I'm not holding it super close, I'm kind of holding it back a little bit because I don't want to burn the vinyl. Too much heat, it'll get super thin and it'll melt the vinyl. If it's too close and too concentrated. Basically, again, the concept is warm it up the general area. Some of the edge here. They've got everything in that corner. I have to burn my finger. Just 
very, very little bits of glue residue, and that's really it, not much at all. Again, this brand is uh, Vivid, V-V-I-V-I-D. Uh, they're, they're out of Canada. I bought this directly from Vivid. I do know that um, several years ago, um, there were some uh, knockoff or cheap Vivid products going around. Uh, we're talking like, in like uh, 2012, 13 uh, time frame. And uh, that because of that stuff, I think Vivid got a pretty bad rap. I personally like them. I've never really had any issues with them. Uh, like all vinyls, they have their pros and their cons. Uh, but for what you pay for Vivid, uh, in my opinion, that's all that is. Uh, it's a it's a pretty good vinyl, and you get a pretty good value out of it as well. Uh, I've worked with several different vinyls to include your big names like Avery and 3M. Uh, I've also worked with your cheap, no-name uh, eBay vinyls. Uh, and you notice the difference. Um, Vivid, in my opinion, uh, is a Definitely closer to 3M and Avery. Maybe not exactly the same, but definitely not, um, in my opinion, uh, doesn't deserve the uh, bad rap that, in some people's eyes, that it has earned, or it has, uh, has gotten because of what I believe were some knockoff products that were available in the past that actually may not have actually been given. Alright, so I'm just going to continue this process and probably put you guys on uh, time lapse or uh, speed up the process there on the video. So, the main portion of the hood has been fully removed from vinyl wrap. You can see the paint because it was already in good, strong condition when I applied the vinyl wrap is unharmed. As far as glue residue goes, very, very, very little that was left behind. There was some up here where I pulled it a little bit cold. There are some glue residue areas. I don't know if you can see it in this lighting here. Try a different angle. Some very light one, just in these recessed areas right there. 
and that's kind of around here, basically in the crevices. Uh, as far as the corners and edges go, I feel maybe just a little bit. It's rubbing right off. I can feel it rubbing right off right now with my thumb. But on the whole, overall, peeled off with a very minimal effort, given a little bit of heat. And it's actually kind of cold already in my garage to begin with. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up again to do the, um, the hood now, or excuse me, the hood scoop. Alrighty, I'm going to try to do the hood scoop up close to the camera. This may be a little bit more difficult since it's loose and I'm holding it. Um, so I'm probably just going to heat an area and then peel. Now the hood scoop I did in two pieces um, because it was beginning to warp the weave too much. So let me see if I can get a good angle on the camera here. You can see the seam that I made right there. So basically one piece on this flat area and then the rest of it was the hood over the scoop itself. So let's see, and there's the other seam right here. So I'm gonna heat the area. And then peel. here somewhere get it started hopefully I've warmed it up enough still feels pretty cold actually oh, and on this I did not use anything like primer 64 or the like so or primer 94 not 64 or any kind of adhesive promoter so all right and this is the area that I warmed up I can also feel this area right here is this area right here is cooled down, so I suspect it'll probably start ripping in those areas here, and or leave more glue residue. Yeah, the vinyl is just ripping really easily. Where it's getting cooler, I can feel that it's a temperature difference touching this area versus this area. Oops, knocked out a clip. Grabbing that one piece right here. Let me see if I can angle this down a little bit more. There we go. Hopefully that gives you a better view. Peeling that one piece that I put on the bottom part. Oh, see how that just ripped right there? That's because that's very that's cold, brittle vinyl. So it basically shattered in a sense. Uh, because again, cold vinyl is pretty brittle. So Let's heat up this area. Some of you, I'm using a heat gun. Some of you might not have a heat gun. Um, if you're going to work with vinyl, I'd recommend it. Uh, because you can use a hair dryer if you want, but a hair dryer, consider that the purpose for that is to. Uh, well, dry hair, so there's a lot of wind velocity as well. It does not get, also does not get nearly as hot as a heat gun does. Um, so you can do it with a hair dryer, but it'll probably take even longer. Heat gun puts a lot more heat out uh, faster than uh, than a hair dryer does. But a hair dryer would be would be usable. All right, peeling off this final. That's been. Warmed up nicely. Get the edge that I wrapped over the this leading edge here of the scoop. Wrap it underneath a little bit here. Have that complete carbon fiber look.
a little awkward because I'm trying to show you the peeling process here in the camera. I was heating up there, heating this up. I was trying to heat a big broad area to basically soak the whole area with heat and soak the vinyl with heat uh, over a larger area so I can peel more vinyl off at one time. Definitely don't want to concentrate the heat in one particular area too much because it'll probably, you'll probably burn a hole or burn the vinyl, melt the vinyl when the heat's concentrated. Again, with a heat gun. Like I just explained, it puts out a lot more heat than a hairdryer does. And so, you gotta be careful of that. I'm talking like a thousand degree, a thousand degrees when it's on high, maybe 1100, 1200, depending on which heat gun you have. All right, so. As you can see, everything's peeling off nicely. So far, no glue residue uh, that I've been able to find so far. here. Okay, I can feel this is this last piece that I've got to peel off is uh, pretty cold, so let me go ahead and heat that up. Now the hood scoop has been fully de-wrapped or unwrapped. Again, this vinyl has been on for about two years. Put it in, on in March or April of 2018. Uh, it's Vivid Brand True R Carbon Fiber Look. It's their XPO line, uh, which is the older series as compared to their Vivid Premium Plus line. Um, no damage to the paint that I could tell or see, and uh, in this case, no glue residue at all. All right, guys, so if you're wondering how uh, Vivid's True R Carbon Fiber uh, vinyl might remove uh, after a couple years of being on, uh, here's a demonstration of it. Again, some of the uh, background factors or considerations is that um, the paint and the clear coat were in very good condition, uh, obviously, I try to take good care of my car, um, so I had no qualms with um, putting the vinyl on and worrying that when I pulled it off or repositioned it while I'm laying it on that the paint or the clear coat would come off. Now, that being said, if your car or the surface you're about to apply vinyl to has been repainted, resprayed, or um, is of a manufacturer that is known to have paint uh, paint issues where their paint and their clear coat breaks down after a couple years. 
um, I would suspect that the vinyl probably would have pulled some of some of that off. Also, if there's any underlying conditions like rust under the paint or something like that, uh, it probably would have come off. In this case, not at all. All right, guys, hopefully you found this video to be helpful and informative. Um, for those of you that are considering vinyl wrapping your hood or your car and then are worried about how it might damage your car uh, or if it might damage your car when you do decide to pull it off, um, here's just at least one example of it turned out um, as expected and as it should be, which is uh, as if you pull it off and as if there was nothing on it to begin with and your paint looks good and protected. Uh, your mileage may vary, of course. Um, anyway, if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys.